Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to 90 Plus India's first annual online tuition. So come, let's discuss our sure question series. Dear chapters, I am so waiting for the session to be conducted. Your polls are bubbling, full of energy to discuss the bio question polls. Are you ready? Yes, I know you are eagerly waiting for the session to be conducted. Before moving on to our exact one question from the chapter named Life Processes, I will give some ideas regarding the mark distribution pattern for the 10th grade CBC examination of 2024. We know we have five chapters and the unit two, the world of living consists of four chapters, namely life processes, control and coordination, how do organisms reproduce and heredity. While understanding the concepts of all these four chapters, you will be able to score 25 marks and it's not four or five, 25 marks. Okay. And unit five that is named natural resources, which will be having only one chapter named our environment. By understanding the server in the chapter, you will be able to score 5 marks. That means 25 plus 5 marks, that is equal to 30 marks. It's for your assurance from your poll, sir. Are you ready for the discussion of that question? Don't forget to study all the concepts of the biology because most questions and most mark will come from our biology session, that is 30 marks. Don't forget to study all any of the concepts of our biology. Yes, here we go with 90 plus question series. Today, we are going to discuss one of the most transportation questions from our chapter number five, that is life processes. The question here is, when we are injured and start bleeding, it requires the loss of blood from the system to be minimized. What will happen if the blood loss is not stopped? Is there anything the system could do on its own to prevent the loss? Do you have any idea? Shall I explain the concepts? Is there anything the system could do on its own to prevent the loss? Before answering this question, Rin sir is waiting to play one animation. Sir, it's your time you can play the animation. What do you mean by blood? Blood is a connective tissue which consists of majorly two parts. Yes, sir, you can play. Yeah, when we are taking our blood for the clinical examination, you will be able to see blood like this. Where is that, sir? Yeah, please play that. Yeah, here, here how our blood look like. Now we are moving on to this. Now we are moving to centrifuge this blood. When we are introducing this blood into centrifugation machine, you will be able to see the components of the blood. So you can play the components of the blood, which consist of major two components. The first component will be the fluid component, which is plasma, and followed by second will be the solid components of the blood that is formed elements. So play that. That is a formed element. So the formed elements and plasma constitute the entire components of the blood. I will repeat that again. The blood, con blood contains solid components which are formed elements which consist of erythrocytes or RBC or red blood cells, leukocytes or our white blood cells or WBCs and finally platelets. Our hero is platelet. We need to pick that platelet for writing our answer to that respiratory question. And next is the fluid component of the blood and that is plasma. Yes, sir, you can discontinue that animation. Now we are moving on to the answer. I already told you, don't forget to remember the platelet from the category of formed elements. This is a model question. This, sorry, this is a model answer. And I didn't mention about the mark for this question this question is for two marks okay this question is for two marks and you should at least include four points in your exam sheet i will tell you how to answer this question naturally the loss of blood from the system has to be minimized when any of uh, wood happens in our body. The leakage would leads to a loss of pressure. Loss of pressure which would reduce the efficiency of intercirculatory system or the pumping system. And to avoid this, the blood has platelets. I already told you, under the category of the formed elements, there will be platelet cells and which circulate around our body and plant these leaks by helping to clot the blood at the point of injury. Yes, this is a perfect answer. And did you notice any subduction part, intact subduction part for this question? Yes, the first subduction part is 
what will happen if the blood loss is not stopped i already explained if the blood loss is not stopped or the leakage the leakage it's not stop the loss of pressure will be there that means the blood pressure there will be the lowering of blood pressure lowering of blood pressure that is simply called bp yeah uh, don't yeah don't uh, take it as a uh, don't take it as a uh, don't write it as a lowering of blood pressure that is not needed in your textbook yeah sorry in your textbook J, they mentioned about loss of pressure okay loss of blood pressure you can write it as a loss of blood pressure loss of pressure or blood pressure don't write it as a lowering of blood pressure since that is not mentioned in your textbook, you can go with loss of pressure. If the leak cage is doesn't, uh, if the leak cage is not stopped, that will be, that will leads to loss of pressure or loss of blood pressure, which would reduce the efficiency of the pumping system or circulatory system. That is the first answer to the first indirect question. And second question was the second subdivision was. Yeah, is there anything the system could do on its own to prove it? prevent the loss yes obviously it is because to avoid this the blood has platelet cells we know in the category of the salt compound of the blood that is formed elements there will be platelet cells at erythrocytes or rbc or leukocytes or wbc and we need to pick out the platelet cells from that formed elements this platelet cells which circulate around the body when they are seeing that okay any of the part being wounded they plant these legs by helping to clothe the blood any of the points of injury at this point of injury so this is how you can write a perfect answer to that question and since that was uh, for two mark question you need to write four points don't write four points in a bullet po bullet mark or bullet a bullet po bullet mark or bullet point it is necessary to write all the points in a paragraph mode and just underline or highlight the major points then your teacher or tutor will be able to pick up the right answers or right points from the answer and you will be able to score full marks you know and now i will show you the magic effect because all this point which just mentioned in your textbook you know and they just take the pages which mentioned about the maintenance by playlist under the category of transportation and underline all those points or highlight all this point these are the exact sentence which needed to mention as your answer for that question all this point which i explained or thought are derived from your textbook yeah they already they already given that in addition leakage would lead to a loss of pressure which would reduce the efficiency of the pumping system to avoid this blood has platelet cells which circulate around the body and plug these leaks by helping that helping to clothe the blood at this point of injury textbook reading is very very essential don't forget to read your textbook and highlight your textbook and if you want to know more about this concept or more questions regarding any of the sessions of the biology physics chemistry stay tuned with 90 plus my tuition app all the faculties are ready with full of energy and confidence to discuss most probable question for your cbc 10th grade upcoming 2024 examination so stay tuned with 90 plus my tuition app until we meet again bye bye my dears